Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, buenos dias. Thank you guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this YouTube channel once again. My name is Tom Sum. If you are watching this YouTube channel for your first time, please subscribe. Press on that notification bell for you to be notified on our next video. So guys, welcome to our second segment about Panama City and Panama Canal. Uh, guys, after a period of a joint American and Panamanian control of the canal, the canal was finally taken over by the Panamanian government in 1999. It is now being managed and operated by government of Panama and Panama Canal authorities. Guys, please watch the following brief video about uh, how pilots maneuver the ship vessels at the, at the canal and a brief video about um, President Roosevelt, the US president, uh, of, oversaw the building of the Panama Canal between 1903 and 1914. And also a brief video of uh, a massive golden altar church of San Jose in Panama, which is very, very famous watch enjoy and please remember to subscribe the panama canal one of the world's most important waterways shortening the journey from europe to the west coast of the united states by 20,000 kilometers and it spares seafarers the dangerous trip around cape horn at the tip of south america the canal route running from the Atlantic to the Pacific is 80 kilometers long. The German freighter America is among the ships waiting to pass through the canal. Captain Glossmeyer stands on the bridge, but it is the local pilot who commands the boat's maneuvers. A pilot is obligatory in difficult waters, and the Panama Canal falls into that category, for good reason. When you're in the cut and rain, rain comes down, you have bad visibility and during the dry season with every wind those are the most critical moments america reaches the pacific lock this is when the passage gets tricky the heavy freighter has to stay right on course to enter the narrow lock chamber safely it takes a good eye and lots of experience to complete these maneuvers the size of the ships has long been dictated by the dimensions of the canal and its lock chambers. 294 meters long, 32 meters wide, and 12 meters deep. Those are the maximum specifications of a certain classification of vessel, Panamax ships. Small maneuverable tugs pull and push these colossal vessels with steel towing cables. The gigantic container ships are pulled into the locks by powerful 1,000 horsepower locomotives. These mullahs, as they are called, have been doing this for almost a century. The ships have 30 centimeters of leeway to the port and starboard while in the lock. This truly is precision navigation. Ships coming from the Pacific must pass through three lock chambers to descend to the channel. They travel through the channel over Lake Gatun and descend three more levels to the Atlantic. The locks on the Atlantic are still operated manually, just as it was 100 years ago. Sluice gates weigh 750 metric tons and are powered by 1,500 electric motors and the 70 water valves that control the inflow and outflow of water are operated at a manual control station. The mechanical control panels show a model design of the canal. The graphics on the user interface look prehistoric. America, with Captain Glossmeyer aboard, are now motoring along the Atlantic. But many an ocean-going gargantuan is unable to pass through the canal. The Panama Canal has long been too small to accommodate humongous modern-day freighters and cruise ships. But that's about to change. Nearly 100 years after it was opened, the Panama Canal is being dredged and widened. The right pronunciation is Panama, with the accent and the last A, Panama. 
that is the right pronunciation and the meaning of Panama is not because the what is the name of the rock band from US they sing a song the name was Panama yeah 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 the name was Panama yeah but the, the Van Halen Van Halen yes yeah but I have no idea why the, the, the name Panama. Construction of the Panama Canal started in 1904 to 1914, took 10 years. And the Americans inaugurated the Panama Canal in, uh, back in August 15, 1914. It's not a coincidence because the city of Panama, the inauguration of the city of Panama is also August 15, but from 1519 a couple years before, 400 years before than the Panama Canal. We have a lot of symbologies here around. My good friends, let's, let's start with this monument. The name of the monument, uh, have you been in New York? Yeah. yeah. Between New York and New Jersey is a bridge, yeah, a lot of bridges. Well, the name of one of those bridges is Gothel's Bridge. The administration building, the Americans spent $879,000 back in 1914 to build this. A uh, New Yorker guy, his name was Austin Lord, he designed this, designed all the buildings around. Remember the control house in front of you, it says Miraflores Locks, 1913? Well, that was designed by uh, Austin Lord also. Okay, and on either side of the stairs, you will see three terraces built, being caught on the hill. Each one of those terraces are three terraces on this side of the, 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 the stairs and another three terraces on the other side of the stairs representing the three steps of the Panama Canal on either side. Become the president of Panama three times. But, surprise, this guy never completed his presidential period. All the three times the military force or the police where the National Guard took over the control of Panama with three, three coups. Three times president, three coups. What happened? Let's start with the history of this guy. He, he came from a very wealthy family, a Panamanian family, a Spanish family. And this guy, he studied in Harvard. He probably one of, he was one of the first Panamanian becoming a doctor studying in Harvard back, back in those times, back in 1920s. And then he started a revolution in Panama back in 1931, and he was one of the leaders of the coup of Panama in 1931. They become the leaders of Panama, and he was the minister of Panama or the ambassador of Panama in Paris between 1935 to 1939. Back in those times, the Nazis, the political party, used to be a very important political party in Europe, the Nazis. And this guy, he adopted some ideas like the Nazis, like a nationalist ideas, like Panama for Panamanians. This guy openly, he said, I hate the indigenous, I hate the black people, I hate the, the, the yeah, Asian people and that's why he was a uh, risk for the region and that's why those three times US helped to the revolutionaries people to take the power by, to control Panama uh, by power and this guy never completed his presidential period you can see the monument personally I don't like it let me explain you why because well if you see carefully the monument is a crane He's a crane and he is uh, in front of the crane. He is taller, he is stronger, and he is like he looks better or more important than the other people. And can you see it? Can you see him? He's yeah. in front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah over there. That kind of reminds me of the Saddam statue a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, you will see the people walking on their knees. They are trying to touch him. He's like God. And, and that's why I, I don't like this one. He got married back in the 60s. He was, six, he was 67 and he got married with the lady. She was 17. More than 50 years uh, difference between this guy and that lady. She became the president of Panama back in 1999 to 2004. 
That's why this monument is from those times, between 1999 to 2004. Uh, the, uh, well, this is the monument. Okay, well. It's a similar one back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What happened? What's the story of the, this mask or that one? Or all the evil masks in Panama or in Puerto Rico, Cuba? It's the same background. Back in 16, 1700, the people tried to skip churches. And the priests, they were worried about that. That's why they invent or they create those kind of evil masks. And they show in the middle of nowhere to those people. They scare them. And then next day, the people back in church. That's why the evil masks were very important for that was uh, The name of the church is San Jose or Saint Joseph is the name of the church. Yeah, it's one, I told you it's one of the, the oldest, but still in use. Uh, every Sunday they have mass, they have a uh, normal event here. And in front of you guys we have the famous golden altar. The golden altar is one of the treasures of Panama. The golden altar is not gold, it's mahogany. It's about 99% mahogany. And then golden leaf covering mahogany wood. When you talk to the local people, they will say, no, this is 100% gold. And this one came from old Panama City from uh, during the Hernandez attack. To be honest with you guys, I talked to the archaeologist here, and she told me, no, it's not, it's not the original one. Ni mlinzi wangu tena mwamba wangu na msifu na